Bonjour! Guten Tag! And hello everybody, welcome back for more Pokemon Sword! In the last part, we made it through Route 2. Let's... I didn't know just walking up to that thing did that. Um, in this part, we're going to be heading out into the wild area. A new form of location in the Pokemon series. And uh, we'll be talking about it for a minute. Because it's, uh, it's a big place, as you can see. Now, I believe, yeah, so we have full camera control, which is something that I'm not used to in a Pokemon game. But, you know, you can do whatever. Uh, if you talk to this lady here, she will heal up your Pokemon. Mine are uh, doing pretty okay for right now. And uh, here's our favorite person. Look at that. It pretty. As Modestoke way off that way. And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello, if it isn't Sonya. My granny gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? Sounds rough. Ah, never you mind that. Nothing to worry about yourselves over. Besides, I'm quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest, so I think I should look into it. If I discover something really huge, maybe Grant will even admit I've got some talent. Next, being an adult got its own challenges, don't it? D fuck, that's right. I said you needn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. It'll be great fun to fish and camp and rough outside again. And Hop is going to rush off like Barry in the midst of Sinnoh. What, she? Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know. You'd better Dynamax your partner Pokemon, too, if you want to take an opportunity on that strong. You'll find spots here in the wild area that emit a green be great red beam of light. And if you think you're up to it, Dynamax. Pokemon Box Link. So this is another really interesting thing. Uh, first of the feature, you're now allowed to access your PC boxes at any time in the game. Mostly. There are certain areas you can't. But, for the most part, you can pretty much everywhere in this game access your PC boxes if you need to. This is like the third time we're seeing an overview of this area because it's literally that big. Ah, uh, sorry about that. Gotta hydrate. Welcome to the wild area. Rolling fields. Oh boy, it's raining. Oh god, it's thunderstorming. Okay. So, first things first. Open area. There's a lot to do. We're going to be exploring this for one or two parts, probably. First thing you're going to notice is Onyx. Oh, you found a note. Did somebody drop it? Large Pokemon. If you try battling one and it seems in, you're in over your head, try to run. There are Pokemon that are like level 50 out in the wild here. This Onyx is one of them. Don't... Don't challenge anything. It... Not worth. Trust me. Second thing. Oh my god, with the tutorial. Cooking at camps can restore fields. I will get into camping here in just a moment. But, uh, we can visit this berry tree. If we shake it. Two orange berries and a Pecha fell. Three berries. Let's shake it some more. Three cherry berries fell. Six. I normally stop shaking it after seven or eight appear. So let's go one more. Two orange berries fell from the tree. There are eight berries on the ground. Let's just take them. If you continue to shake it, you have a chance of running into a Pokemon more and more. Normally, at this point in the game, it is a Squavit. Uh, these are Raid Dens. And that'll get us into our first instance. So if you'll notice, there's a whole fuck ton of Pokemon out in the grass here. Uh, I debated for a long while on whether or not I should do uh, bios for the wild area. And for this 
first turn into it, I have uh, decided against it because there aren't really many Pokemon that are exclusive to only the wild area. We will get into the Pokemon that are exclusive to the wild area when they start popping up. Um, but I will make note that there are some Galarian Pokemon that you can find early on. But first, let's do a max raid battle. We can go up against a Diglett. The battle ends when Pokemon faint four times or the battle lasts for ten turns. So let's do this. These are Dynamax Raid Battles, the new gimmick of the series, Dynamax. I call it a gimmick when it's more of a playstyle. But as you can see, yeah. Dummy thick fucking Diglett. And we all have really tiny Pokemon. But with enough energy and our will to fight, I can throw down against this Dynamax Diglett. Now Dynamax battles work really interesting. You always have four people, I think, in them. No matter what, but I, I can't confirm that. But normally it's four people, and each one of you has a Pokemon, while one of you can Dynamax. Uh, the three that there in the front are normally for support against the enemy Pokemon. And they can all use max moves. Jesus! Okay. Wow. Go fuck yourself. And that's what it is. The storm raging above you grows stronger. Aqua Tail. Do some damage. Wow. I was not expecting to get singled out that fucking fast. God damn. Critical hit. Draining Kiss. I did absolutely nothing. So, while your Pokemon are out, you can cheer for your, uh, your side. Light Screen. And then a Max Quake again. Yeah, I am... I am salty. My Pokemon died in the first move of the fucking game. That... That pisses me off. And that's half of our feints. And we aren't even down half of the health on this thing. Togepi used Swift. Man, that Togepi is doing jack all. But your Pokemon recovered from fainting with the power of Dynamax energy. Yeah, it's kind of cool actually. I really like that they do that. So I am going to tackle the Diglett. Diglett, you passed on. Wishy washy fainted. I don't think we're gonna win this one. And now our throw comes back. I believe I get my Dynamaxing back now. No, not yet. Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, hopefully, I don't die. Nullified stat changes. Used Astonish. Cool. I tackled the thing. And we used Brick Break on the thing. Togepi flinched and didn't move. And the Wishy Washy's back. Something that's actually useful. And then let's go ahead and throw down... God, I want to use Payback just because I know I'm probably going to be next. Much left. Yep, and I get to do double damage on this turn. Awesome. Payback. Oh, and you avoided the damn. Fuck you! Fuck you so hard! Draining Kiss, that probably restores some of my health. Not enough to matter. Revenge. That would have worked a whole lot better if uh, he was the one that did it. Bulldoze. Ouch. And we all lost simultaneously. I think that just automatically battle over. Wow. Okay. Book. And this was a one star battle. 
Yes, you can lose these, and no, there's no penalty for it, really. I don't even think my Pokemon are fainted after that. They're not. But that gets me in... Oh, excuse me, sorry. Well, that gets me into the next thing. Oh my god, shut up. Nobody gives a fuck. That gets me into the next thing we can do, which is the Pokemon Camp. Anytime you're in a wild area, you are allowed to set up a camp with your Pokemon and do a whole bunch of things. See, you got your little buddy and your little other buddy. Hey, come here. And then I can... So go play with other Pokemon, man. There's a ball. I threw the ball. Hey. Are you gonna pick up the ball or? Yeah, it's, it's so cute. And then we can uh, cook while we're here. And cooking is interesting. It reminds me a lot of the uh, Poffin mini game from um, Oh, God, Sinnoh. And whoop. Now, I use the motion controls for the flaming of the fan. While tapping the A button is better, though. If you want to get a really good, like, in between, You don't want to be too fast or too slow. You got to know like exactly when to do it. And I didn't do it near as good there. And then I do mine right there. Got some good soul into it. Let's see how good of a curry we made. I made a spicy curry. My little buddies is good. A Wobbuffet class. Nice. And now I'd like to quit camping. My Pokemon were healed and they gain experience from that. I do believe they were healed, correct? A little bit. I'm gonna throw a potion on there just to be safe. Probably could have just done another Orin Berry, but showing you how stuff works. The wild area is huge. So uh, don't get me wrong, we're gonna be here for a minute. There's a lot of stuff we can do here. Ooh, look, it's a Pikachu. It's Pikachu! It's Clefairy! Fuck! Oh god, I really hope I can find that clip to throw in. <laughs> That'd be funny. Tail slap! Speaking of moves, Pikachu can learn. But there are items all over TMs, TRs, Pokemon to find, Pokemon to battle. Uh, I'm gonna go avoid fighting types as much as possible considering I have the, uh, you know, dark normal type out. Man, uh, it's crazy that there are electric types running everywhere. Electrics are so annoying. There are multiple, like, electrics out in the world that you can find, and, like, every last one of them chases you no matter what. And it's just annoying. You can get 50 watts out of every inactive den. Hey there, I found a rare item. I always say yes to these if I can. Experience candies. These are candies that go specifically to your Pokemon to increase their experience. They're not like rare candies that increase the level, but they do help just the same. Oh, first person view in a Pokemon game. Isn't that weird? 
a bit of energy trickling out of this den. Let's get some more berries up in this his house. Kelpsy. Two cherry berries. Let's go one more time. And I got the Pokemon. God damn it. It's the cherries! It is raining. An electric current is currently spreading across the battlefield. Okay, wow, that battle took entirely way too long. 109 experience for Goonie, I am liking those numbers. Other Pokemon took all the orange berries, so we only get a few other berries. Well, that's okay. So now we're in the Dappled Grove, part of the wild area, which is also experiencing rainfall. And uh, the rain does affect what Pokemon appear. The weather and conditions do do that. Those are two items. Ooh. Hidden items are a joy. Fancy Apple, that is a curry ingredient. Tiny mushroom. He's a big fucking boy. There's another berry tree. Chesto. Oh my god. Persum. I'm just gonna show you three times. Chesto. I'll leave that on the ground and go. That's, that's the lamest tree I have ever seen. Hold on, guys, really quick. I need to... Change something in my options. Thank you. So these are League Officiates. If you spend your watts, you can get certain items, such as Dust Balls or very specific TRs. And the TRs are worth the money, even though it doesn't seem like it, because you can get a lot of um, watts in a day. A Petcha and a Rost. Oh, give me a good three berry haul. Petcha and an Orin. Oh, I'll, I'll grab that. That's not a bad haul. What's this raid? It's a Caterpie. Switch my Pokemon out, and let's end this uh, session of the wild area out with a raid battle. It's against the big bug. My dad is like the embodiment of Misty from Pokemon. It's kind of funny. Can't stand any bugs. Oh! And my little bunny's big and happy. Caterpie used Max Strike. Big damage to a Heat Morph. Our ally speed fell. I use Max Flare, which is super effective. Holy God. Fire Lash. And wow, that was so easy. Okay. Maybe we won't, like, completely end things off here. Soul Rock, you're useless. Stop doing that. I put Max Flare again, I guess. Bug Bite. But it failed. Rock Throw. It's super effective, and you to be fainted. Yeah, I'll catch it. 
show some stuff off. I also really like the Dynamax catching animation. It's just fun. It's a giant goddamn Pokeball. It's actually a premier ball looking kind of thing. Max ball. I also don't know for sure if you can even fail catching Pokemon out of raids. But you get a lot of shit. Experience candy, extra small experience candy, small Dynamax candy, Apaya Berry, Calmag Berry, Tiny Mushroom, Big Mushroom, and the TR for the Leech Life. And Caterpie's Pokedex will be added to our Pokedex. For protection, it releases a horrible stench from its antenna on its head to drive away enemies. Now, Caterpie has been added to my party. Let's change that. Show off the boxes. Oops, not wrong one. So now I can move this Caterpie. By the way, yeah, they are really high level when you catch them out of Dynamax battles. Just thought I'd uh, make that clear too, because damn, level 16. Thing evolves once and you uh, got what you need. Oh shit, it's a beware. Big boy Pokemon out here in the field. A little bit of energy trickling out of the den. You got a big boy Shiftry over here. Do not try to do anything with these guys. To Chilon and Rost. Aleppa. One more. Two Chesto and one Leppa. I'm good with that. I'm good with that haul. That's a really fucking good haul, too. We get all those berries. So now we can go over to this side. Ooh, there's an Oddish. There's a Timple if you want a water type. Bunnelby for ground type. Let's grab some Watts. A pretty feather. So the energy is trickling out of the den. More hidden items. And we're into the next area of the wild area. So in the next part, we'll continue exploring the wild area and maybe change scenery a little bit. My name is Good William Harvale. If you like the video, go ahead and throw me a like, comment, or subscribe. And if you want to stay notified, ring the bell. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.